are you all doing on this beautiful Tuesday? Um, I know y'all probably wondering, like, what am I doing here? What am I doing off today? Your girl called out because I just did not feel like going. Um, I don't have the energy to go to work today. I didn't have the energy to go to work today. So I called out last minute. Um, I mean, yesterday I was sneezing all day, too. If you can tell, like, my eyes are really puffy. Um, because my allergies have been acting up. So I was sneezing all day yesterday. And um, this shirt look a hot mess. This is my, I sleep in this shirt. And I sometimes dye my hair and stuff like that in this shirt. Um, which I haven't dyed my hair in a long time. But whatever. Um, what was I saying? Oh. Oh, I was saying that yesterday my allergies were acting up like I was sneezing like nonstop. And so I took um, a Benadryl. I really don't like taking medicine, but I took a Benadryl yesterday, last night, and I fell asleep. I was super drowsy. So I woke up really late this morning and just decided that I did not want to go to work because I just didn't have the energy. Like I was not going to be any good to those kids if, um, you know, if I went to work with no energy. Don't mind my edges, y'all. Please don't mind my edges. But, um, yeah, so I am at home today. I'm about to, um, work out. I plan on working out for a whole hour. It's 11 o'clock right now. So I plan on working out until 12 o'clock. And then, um, I'm going to go out, <clears throat> go to the store, grocery store. <clears throat> I know y'all hate seeing me at the grocery store because I'm always there. But I'm going to go to the grocery store so I can do an eight. No, I was saying that I wanted to do an Asian style dinner tonight. Um, it's Tuesday and I really should be doing my favorite, which is Mexican food taco Tuesday. But I've been really having a taste for um, hibachi. So I'm going to do homemade hibachi tonight and I'm probably going to do a drink to a homemade drink. So you all can see my bartending skills. Um, so, yeah, I like. This, I like being right here because um, this has the best lighting in the kitchen. So, um, yeah, I'm about to work out real quick. And uh, what else am I going to do? Oh, go to the grocery store. And that's going to be my day. Also, you guys, look at my figure. It, it's giving. <laughs> I'm not really big on those terms y'all be using, but your girl, like, I've lost a lot of weight for real. I've lost, like, 10 pounds. I just looked at the scale this morning, and it says 202, and I was 212 the last time I um got on the scale. But your girl has been doing very good. I have been, you know, eating things in moderation. I still eat exactly what I want, what I have a taste for, but I've been eating things in moderation. And that's truly the key for me, um, just moderating and, and, you know, scaling back on how much I intake. And then I have reduced my sodium intake as well. So that's probably helped because, you know, sodium gives you a lot of water weight. It, it keeps you bloated and stuff like that. So, yeah. And... Yeah, you girl is looking good. So this is my little at home gym since um, I'm too far away from the gym that I am a member of, which is Planet Fitness. Um, I used to live two minutes away from Planet Fitness, but now that I move across the across town, um, I don't have a Planet Fitness next to me. So, like I was saying, I don't have a Planet Fitness near me. So, um. Your girl, uh, like it's actually like 35 minutes away from me and I'm not driving all the way over there for no gym when I could just do my little workout at home and call it a day. So I'm trying to stay motivated with that part. Um, now I can go to the gym after work cause it's close to my job, but I get tired too. So I'm just really right now making excuses <laughs> as you can see. But, uh, yeah.
you guys your girl is tired <laughs> so i did 45 minutes i didn't do an hour because i wanted to stop exactly at 12 o'clock um whew. um i wanted to stop at exactly 12 o'clock just because but um your girl's sweating and i don't really sweat i'm not a sweater so i'm not a sweater I'm not a person who sweats, um, <laughs> but my hair is like really sweaty. And then if I take these bands off, and I don't have the air on in the house either, on purpose. See, I put two bands on because um, both of them are too big. I need to get, I need to size down, but. I was just talking and not recording, but um, I had two bands on, one at the lower part, part of my torso and then one at the top part of my torso. The one at the bottom part was really sweaty because um, it was actually on my skin and then the other one was on top of it, like this part of my torso. So um, yeah, it was a good little workout and I'm so happy to be able to do it at home. I got enough space for that. I'm going to eventually order myself a treadmill once it's in my budget. Um, but until then, I'll just be doing my little basic workouts and then um, going to the gym when I can. But now I'm about to shower and then I'm going to go to the grocery store and pick up the few things I need for tonight so I can show myself cooking. Um, it's Asian themed tonight. So you all will be seeing that. So follow me on this journey. And yeah, this TV up pretty loud. And I'm I'm watching daytime TV, like uh, court shows and um like daytime shows. Like I don't ever get to do any of that. <laughs> so I had somebody ask me why I don't smile in my pictures. And the reason why is because my nose is fat. And so when I smile, um my nose spread wider so look but anyway I'm about to go to the store and yes I'm a graphic tee hoarder I'm so comfortable in like t-shirts and stuff like I'm a girly girl sometimes when when I want to be but I'd rather I'd much rather be in some leggings and like a t-shirt Y'all, so I'm getting a late start on dinner, but um, I need to charge my phone so I can actually record me cooking. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep the food and I'm going to walk you through it after I let this phone charge up a little bit. So stay tuned. All right, you guys. So here are the ingredients for my hibachi style dinner. Um, so at, the, at this point right now, I am boiling the water for the rice. So I did four cups of rice, I mean, I'm sorry, four cups of water, two cups of rice. Um, then I cut up two zucchini and two squash. Then I have, um, I diced up my chicken breast and then I have um, shrimp peeled and divined. Then I have some minced garlic soy sauce, some olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and salt. Oh, and I have some green scallion. So I prepped everything first, as you all can see. And once the um, rice is done, I'll show you all the finishing touches or I'll show you all the next steps. So in a medium saucepan, you're gonna put it on medium heat and you're going to saute the um, white onion 
I just slice them like that. White onion uh, squash and zucchini. And I'll show you the next steps from there. I'm still waiting on my rice. I let air in it, but you're not supposed to let air in it. That's um, the key to cooking rice. Also, you're going to season your um, vegetables with the garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and a little salt because we're going to um, season the meat really well. So you don't really need too much salt in the vegetables. All right, you guys. So, like I said, you're going to saute the vegetables. Cook them until they're tender. Um, I like mine to get a little brown, so yeah. I don't like soft, um, I don't like it to get soft. I like it to get like, you know. And I'm using a wooden spoon or wooden spatula. I don't know why this makes a difference, but it does. <laughs> Cause you're just tossing it really. I put my garlic powder on it, I put my onion powder on it, and I put my black pepper on it. On a little, just a little salt. I don't like a lot of salt, so you don't really need much. Oh, by the way, I used um, olive oil at the bottom of the pan. Just a little bit. Oh, I need to get an egg too. That's what I keep forgetting. I always forget to put egg in my um, my rice. This one is only me, so I'm only using one egg. I don't want all the extra stuff. My rice, check on that. You don't want your rice to be sticky. You want it to be like, not hard, but you want it to be like, um, still have its shape, you know? And once the water is gone out of the rice, that's when you know it's done. So I'm just gonna taste it. Perfect. <clears throat> Should still look like that. So I'm gonna let it cool down for a second. And then, um, yeah. I love vegetables. So I did two zucchinis, two squashes. Can you um, pluralize squash? Squashes, whatever. Anyway, it's two of each. <laughs> and then it's only like um, maybe a fourth of an onion. And the reason why I did a fourth of an onion is because um, I'm already gonna use this green onion to garnish the green scallion and it's already powerful. So you don't need too much onion. And then I have onion powder, so yeah. Put a little bit more salt, just a little bit. And then after this, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to um, make a Moscow Mule. Well, it's not a Moscow Mule, it's a Tokyo Mule. I'm only doing Tokyo Mule because I had, you know, Moscow is in um, Europe. So it's not considered um, an Asian drink. So I wanted to do something that was Asian inspired. So I did, I'm calling it the Tokyo Mule. Or I'm called, it, I don't have sake to go in it. So it's not really a Tokyo Mule either. But for tonight, we're gonna pretend that I'm having a Tokyo Mule with my hibachi dish. All right, so now that this is done, you're going to set it to the side and then keep this um, burner on, on because you're going to cook your meat. Oh. 
So I'm gonna do the chicken first because um, I'm gonna do the chicken first because it takes the longest and shrimp doesn't take the long at all. It takes like, few, like maybe five minutes at the most. Um, so put my olive oil in here. I'm gonna put my chicken in here. Wash my hands. Then I'm going to stir it around a little bit. Add my seasoning, because you want it to cook. Oh, I'm also going to, I forget to add this. This is garlic, minced garlic. Um, I, I like a lot of garlic. Breath gonna be stank, but you can't have an Asian uh, meal without garlic. All right, so now I'm gonna start seasoning it. Put a little black pepper. Put as much as you like. Excuse me. Um, garlic powder. Onion powder. Mix it around a couple more times and then you're gonna add the um, shrimp. Now I can add my shrimp to this. And I'm gonna season my shrimp as well. I just put the um, shrimp to the side. Season my shrimp with the same seasoning. I'm going heavy with all of the seasonings for the shrimp, except for the salt. Like I said, I don't like a lot of salt. Black pepper. Meanwhile, you can um, season your Rice too.
you're supposed to fry the egg with the rice, like saute the rice and, um, you know, fry the egg with the rice. But I'm just gonna fry it in this little pan really quick. Something simple, quick. And then I'm gonna chop it up in the um, rice. And then after this, I have to make my drink for you guys. The meat is done. So I just turned it off and it's okay to mix your meat if you want to, or if you want to keep it separate, that's up to you. Um, I'm mixing mine. Everybody knows how to fry an egg, right? If not, what you do is you just crack the egg. in a hot pan with some oil at the bottom. So I'm gonna use this bowl to pack the um, rice in it and make it cute. Added some rice to the egg mixture. Now you're going to pack it in the little bowl. So you pack it in a bowl, cause I want it to be plated nicely. So I got a lot of dishes, a lot. Pack it in a bowl. And then you're going to So it should come out like that. Then you're gonna put some green onion on it. And then you're going to take a scoop of your You're gonna take a scoop of your um sauteed vegetables. I want a lot of vegetables, so I'm gonna put a lot on the side. Then you're gonna take a scoop of your meat. Then your girl got two different sauces. So I'm gonna use both of them. I'm gonna use them, I'm gonna put them in ramekins. Um, so I have yum yum sauce. I think I do. Oh, I thought I did. Oh yeah, I do. Yum yum sauce. And then I have this sweet Thai chili. Or should I use the ginger? I'm gonna use the ginger one. So get two ramekins.
Let me shake it up. So pour just a little bit because I don't know if I'm gonna like this sauce, this yum yum sauce. I love yum yum sauce, but I like homemade yum yum sauce. And then, oh, excuse me, y'all. I have not blow my nose. I need to blow my nose. Like I said earlier, um, my allergies have been bothering me. So I've been sneezing and sniffling and carrying on. It smells really good. I think I'm gonna love this sauce. I mean, I've actually had this sauce before, but I um, fried some chicken and just dipped the chicken in it. Or not dipped the chicken in it, but um, tossed it, the chicken in it. Here's a close-up of it, you guys. Asian style sauce, yum yum sauce, chicken and shrimp, sauteed zucchini and squash, and then fried rice with um, an egg in it and some green scallions on top. And there you have it. So for the Tokyo meal with no sake, we're going to do. Um, we're gonna have one of these. This is not a real meal. It's a um a tumbler, like a wine tumbler. But I really wanted a copper meal. So um I didn't I couldn't find one at the last minute. I see them all the time, but when I'm looking for it, I couldn't find it. So I'm just gonna build it in this wine chiller. Alright, so this is a drink that you build in the cup. You don't have to use a shaker or anything for it. What you want to do is you want to take a lime wedge or two. I should have had this cut up already. I'm going to take two lime wedges because I love limes. Then you're going to put it in your stainless steel or mug or whatever. Then you're gonna drop just some mint leaves in there. Then I'm going to muddle. Muddle, muddle, muddle to get all of the natural oils and juices. Y'all can't see my face. Natural oils and juices out. Then I'm going to add my ice. I'm going to fill it with ice. Then I'm going to add, supposed to be 1.5 um, ounces of vodka, but I'm going to do two ounces of vodka since I don't have, yeah, I'm going to do two ounces of vodka. And I'm going to just pour it in there, squeeze the rest of my lime. And then you just top it with some ginger beer. Give it a little swirl. Oh, that's really good, y'all. Really good. And then you wanna garnish it. So I'm gonna put, all right, so I cut another lime wedge and I'm just gonna put that on top. And then I'm going to pour some more ginger beer. And there you have it, a Moscow Mule or Tokyo Mule. All right, so I know my video was all over the place, you guys, because I didn't have my shit together. But your girl is now finally able to sit down and eat and enjoy. I already took a bite of the um, rice. And I already took a sip of the meal, but this meal, I 
don't even like vodka, y'all. I'm a rum girl. I don't love. I don't like tequila. I don't like anything. I don't like dark liquor. I'm a rum girl. But this Moscow Mule or Tokyo Mule, whatever you want to call it, is amazing. So I suggest y'all try it. You got to be the drinking, the, the legal drinking age, please. Please drink responsibly. And if you do try it, enjoy it. But do it responsibly, please. And um, yeah. So I'm closing out this vlog. This is the end of the night. Um, I'm about to enjoy my food and watch some shows until it's time for me to go to bed. Well, take a shower and go to bed for work tomorrow. So good night. Oh, I'm stuffed, but that was really, really good. And I have extras to take to work tomorrow. I'm not big on leftovers, but um, I can eat this again. So I'll be packing that for lunch. <sighs> but anyway, Good night, y'all. This is really the end of the vlog. I hope to see you in the next vlog, and the next vlog, and the next vlog, and the next vlog, and the next vlog. And I hope you all are subscribing. I hope you all are leaving comments. And yeah.